I've got about 50 sold cars on the desk, I need to go through. It's the coolest vehicle we've ever brought. 300 squids. But I feel like we should have a banger rally down the farm. Yeah. I'm back. Did you miss me? Fight! Uh, all over, the paint quality is awful. I don't know if that's just a Jeep thing. And our tyre fitting machine has just decided to, well, give up on us. But yeah, another finance company saying, no, you got my bit back. Biggest headache and best result. Hopefully, we had the, you know, the Fiesta, the grey one that went out? Yeah. I had a text message on Sunday. Typically, I had the bloody phone on me as you rang. Uh, it was a weird text message as well. Yeah, she sent a message saying, like, my insurance is due on the 30th, and this has been like it ever since I did. I thought it's somebody bought a car a year ago. And I texted back saying, not like, if you ring us Monday, we'll help. And now I realise it was the Fiesta that just went out. But what is it with it? Uh, there's a. Um, Oh God, uh, immobilizer fault, car won't start. Okay. So yeah, nothing bloody useful, helpful, sorry. Hopefully she'll have text her to and fro, she'll get into somewhere local, hopefully. Good morning, Bear Motors. Oh yep, yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, no problem. I'll uh, just put that in the diary now um, and just drop it in with us on Friday morning. morning. Yep. No Alright, we'll see you then. Right, Thanks, bye bye. Uh, yeah, anyway, like I say, I'll, I'll get to them one at a time now. I've got about 15 sold cars on the desk I need to go through, so they're, they're like obviously needing doing, so I will have to come to them one at a time and, and sort out. But yeah, I'll do my best to get them sorted as quick as I can. <laughs> yeah, morning, mate. Cheers, mate. It's a 65 plate. It's not low. It's got like no miles on it as well. Must look like four. That's yeah. It's quite low. So, do you want me to work through any of these? Or? Yeah, if you don't mind. The, basically, these are the out finance ones with outstanding things. It says on there the where ones. we are. I mean, I, if you probably when you get to I can probably tell. I don't know where we are with that because it's all new. Um, I'm going to order another race jerk for here, thinking about it. Maybe we'll have one of these or one of Petrol's. It's worth having, isn't it? Yeah. Decent size ones. Yeah, 20 litre, 25 litre. Jobbies. What? I've left him. Mark's got me your card, hasn't he? <laughs> I've left one in. Okay. Just go to the yeah. apple greens and. Uh, gloves, fuel container. Yeah. Fingers crossed. This thing has gone in. Fucking believe that. Honestly. Volkswagen Passat. One of your fans. 
Hi guys, what's your YouTube channel? And my son has just passed the driving test. It's a VW Polo Auto 1.0 TSI DSG blah 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 2021 in black. No more than 25,000 miles. Budget 15 grand. Would love to give you the business if you source one. It's alright. It's not so bad when they give you a very specific amount. You could look for it if you had yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And someone's just like, I want something a bit like this. And then maybe well, I don't want blue, and I've only got 1,200 quid. Yeah. It needs to be also. It needs to be under 10,000 miles. Yeah. Right, what's the A3 out for? Is someone coming to pick it up or? No, is it still up for sale, isn't it? That blue one? Yeah. Uh, it's just in the way, because we took it for paint and then brought it back from paint, because it didn't get painted. Are you bringing something in? Unless you're going to. Well, when you're finished, I'll get the Mercedes in to photograph the inside of the Mercedes. Okay. Well, that's me do done with photography for a bit then. You do that. All I'm going to bring in is the uh, little shitty Carol's Fiesta and dry it so that I can use some stuff on the bumper yeah. trims to test it out. So I'm yeah. just, um, I'll clear a space for you and then... When you're done, just give me a shout and I'll get it. I'll let you know when I've moved stuff. Because everything else is extremely dirty. Got a kind of Mackie's in this. I need a rear window. It's rough over. Oh, thank you. Do you start buying luxury cars? He is a beauty, mate. Isn't he? <laughs> Do you want to grab the. Uh... It's loud, though drying towel and give it a little yeah. dry. You heard the fans with that on? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm going to sort that out. This one looks like it's about to explode. <laughs> yeah, definitely got a trade wear out of that one. Um, Question is, do we just take the... I've got some special like bumper trim plastic renewer stuff that yeah. I'm going to use to like, for a tiki toki. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some new giveaway. They look awful with them off, don't they? It looks like it's clapped. Yeah. Oh, I was saying, like, I hope this wasn't an expensive purchase. 300 squids. Oh, I mean, That's more than I thought you would pay for it. We tried to give it 250, but she's like, no. Oh, there's some more in there. Yeah, 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 there's some more in and you buy it for TikTok or YouTube video. Oh, I'll like, see how long it lasts. Yeah, it's 900,000 miles, like, Taylor or something. <laughs> oh, these, there is no boot button, so you use the key and press this little... You see? Oh, that's really annoying. That's Same like, on the focuses of this era as well. Yeah. But when this is punt home, like, you go to open the boot and you're like, Where's your handle for your boots? Oh, you have to get inside the car and actually press the button. Once right? when you go shopping, you're Yeah, exactly. You've got yourself shopping and then you're like, ah, oh. just put it on the passenger seat. Oh, that's the way. Oh, what do you yeah. need to do? Do you want to wind your windows with that? Keep fit windows. Yeah. Right. Well, we did it. At least you just had a can out there. You just done that. Really? Yeah. At least you like 300 quid. That's probably why you should have 300 quid. Yeah. You probably covered half the cost. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to tear stuff now. I think it's a reasonable amount. That's a car bought. <laughs> have, we got any, like, have we got any metal ramps right now? We're going to just fuck up the floor if we do that. 
<laughs> we could just build a mud one down the farm and just have a. But I feel like we should have a banger rally down the farm. Yeah. Let me see. Um, I'm assuming I've got some scrap car runs later on this week. Huh? Got some scrap car runs later on this week, I assume um, so. Or are you still unsure if you're. I don't know what the score is about yet. Oh. We'll see. It might be a little Friday job, does something have to put it in? Yeah. That's cool. Um, I'm, I know Wednesday is, I'm not sure about Thursday, I can check. I thought it was a car, I thought it was a car skidding. But <laughs> <laughs> it was actually Joe close to the door. Uh, yeah, I've got a, a job in Tiverton on Thursday, so that's half a day job. So Tiverton, I don't know why I've been booked until free though. But Tiverton, yeah, half of Thursday's free, Friday's free. Can you do me a solid a fly rod? Yep. Um, I reckon just put it on an angle, get some better light on. Yeah. One on the side. Sounds like a plan. Tires turned up, won't go jazz, that's all. Tires are very good. Cool. Right. Cool. Literally got finished and putting that. I put the sump and the exhaust and. Have you spoken to Macaulay? Yes. Um, yeah. Yep. I'd certainly have diesel. It definitely should it, be driven. Yeah, no, he said it had zero in it, so we couldn't test drive it and it was it there. Ages to start, and uh, yeah, that was, so give it a try. Yeah, we're going to fill some up. We we'll use the Fiesta. It was the fuel run mobile. Danny boy, did you order a catalytic converter for that Grand Vitara potentially? Yes. Okay, do you know where you got it from? They belong to my granddad, I'm not that old. As tight as it wants to go. Right then. Let's... Tire shine for this bad boy. And we'll go and get some... The boldness on that. Toby, let's go and get some fuel. Smells good near that. The power. They do actually drive quite well, these Fiestas, for what they are. I wouldn't say they actually drive better than the newer generation after this, but for how shit these look, they're surprisingly okay to drive. Jesus Christ. What? Well, don't see them. Suzuki Vitara just swung across the other side of the road and then crashed with that in the can. You. Yeah. What are you doing, you clown? Right, you do petrol. Well, I'll do petrol over it.
Tesco driver. F him. He f***ed up his pulling in here. He's driven around. Like, oh, is it open? Is it not? I don't. I won't pull onto the forecourt because it might not be open. Oh, sorry. Timid people have no place on the road, as far as I'm concerned. They're more dangerous than the overconfident people. If he wasn't sure, just pull up in front of the pump and be like, "Oh, is it? Oh, it is. Great. Well, here I am in my space." In the meantime, I'd snack in like a thief in the night. Day five of Joe's eclectic music taste. I'm back. Did you miss me? Uh, I said I should apologise profusely. Oh, that's right. Well, yeah. When they come back. I'm not even sure if I did apologise. You know what you're <laughs> It is. But the problem is, I can't be trusted to remember things. Yeah, I think so. You got right down to the day. I wondered what they worked on. The middle ones come on my high beam today. DRC or RS suspension, do you know? No, that's all right. I, it, I would say um, it's had Bill Stein um, coilovers fitted. Okay. Um, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, a really high quality Bill Stein. Yeah, what I would say, yeah, so because they said there's something you can check on the dash, blah, 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 modes. So I'll check that and I'll say, yeah, we've and... Got those. So he's probably wants to check we've been going down on the air or whatever, but it's all the fluid or whatever it is. Yeah. I think they've had it removed probably because it kept leaking and it was yeah. like two grand a pop to replace yeah. it. Um, so, yeah. Um, right. We're going to take the disco and... Jason, untradeable key. I can't do anything with it. No worries, mate. Do you want to try? Simon probably can, but my system, it's uh, uncredible oh, locked. Yeah, that's good. No, 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 no. Oh, you found the S Max key then? Dad had it. What's that? The S Max key. <laughs> no, you didn't. You didn't oh. really. Um, <laughs> it's just like, what am I going to do? What? Step into the house. No, um, fight. Uh, Who wants an F? Oh. <laughs> right, it was in the last one. <laughs> right, quick run to the hand car wash. As we know, they don't give us the best finish, but it gets us to a point where we can get photographs done and we are so fat out. We have four, five cars go out yesterday. I think pretty much every single one had part exchanges. And then we bought cars on top of that as well. So, uh, and we've still got like a bit of a hangover from some other cars that we've bought in. So we've got like six, eight cars some of which need like a really serious clean, some just need a wipe over, so a few have stayed at the garage. We can give them a quick wipe over and you know get photographs done and whatever, and I need to hire another valeter. Um, but some are just gonna get down the car wash here, just so that we can knock through them. Because we want you know, otherwise it's dead money just sat there, not advertised. Um, although we advertise them and we put a like, you know, coming soon or due in or whatever in prep type thing up. And we do sell quite a few that way, surprisingly. I mean, can't imagine myself ever wanting to buy a car that I see without pictures and whatever, and phoning up and inquiring on it. I'm too visual of a person, I need to see it. But, yeah, the other thing is obviously it's miserable weather. No one wants to be outside cleaning these cars, really. We've got an Audi A1 that's going out today, I think. So Mark's, although he's with us now, dropping off some cars. He's trying to get that finished. Um, I'm ready to go out. Yeah, so uh, just a time issue. Mark's behind 
Oh, uh, okay. It was an interior clean on both. Well, no, the other one looks like a full clean. Oh, uh, okay. I'm guessing Mark. <laughs> did you did he say about? Do you ask him to do the outside on that as well? Yes. Yeah. 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 In, interior and exterior. Yeah. Cool beans. Toby said they were thinking about shutting up. They said it's yours. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They were just like, yeah. Um, yeah. If we can be back in like half an hour. That'd be amazing because we're closing. It's like, okay. oh, okay. Better make sure we are then. What's the time? Quarter to 11. Back here by quarter past. Right. Obviously, like I say, everything feels new and soft and clean. That would have been that we, uh, <laughs> that track. Put that on, well, wouldn't it? Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll leave that alone. You can. That's I suppose that's because the lights are there, I guess. Are they just walking away? Yeah, they're actually. No, I'm not like that. Yeah, it's fucking blind, everyone. <laughs> Retina destroyers. <laughs> They're good at rubber things, aren't they? Yeah. James at Chops Garage had them, and I thought, oh, they were like 60, 70 quid for a pair, but you can put them on anything, then it's not going to scratch it. And yeah, that's it. We won't lose them, fingers crossed. Two thousand years later. Oh fuck, I've got them upside down, we have to <laughs> get one of our cars to sort out. Well we've got the little rubber jobbies. I guess you loop a couple of these together or something. Two Two's enough, you reckon? Yeah. Hmm? It's a bit dangly. She said. Each to their own. <laughs> Depends what you're going to put it on, though, isn't it? If you want to go through it around in a boot, shut. Normally, just goes over the rear wiper, I guess. Yeah. That's what I would suggest. Rear wiper. Then you got maybe. Anyway, we'll tell you what. Seeing as we've got them, I'll leave it on like that. Look, that's the short one and the. There we go. We got the, the longer version for you. No excuse for Adrian to lose them. Right? So actually, because they put them on the front, it was really good, the magnetic ones, until it blew away. <laughs> Just a decrepit one. Earn my wages. Check out the sticker removal. You need to get yourself a plastic razor blade type thing. Straight off like that, mate. This is another TikTok advert. Could be. <laughs> By now! Oh, the brown is just not rubbing off. <laughs> it's not going to change colour. I did buy it. We had our Volvo S90, which was lovely. Um, but we didn't have a huge amount of interest in it. And then this chap came along. He's interested in our Maserati first. And then decided to do like the Volvo. Um, and wanted to part exchange this. And the value of it was so that we should just straight swap. Don't do very often, but this is worth two or three grand more, so it was worthwhile doing for us. And when you've got a car that seems to be generating a huge amount of interest, swap it into something else, i.e., a dog poo brown Jeep that is just as dog brown from the inside, isn't it? Yeah, what is it? This and the Passat, both brown on the outside, brown on the inside. It's got Harman Carbon sound system though, yeah. LED kind of like display system thingy. It, the thing with brown cars is, I wouldn't own one, but they've usually got a very nice, the paint on this actually, I thought it might have been painted in different spots, but if you look oh, at I was it, thinking about what's it's going around shocking. It. All over, the paint quality is awful, I don't know if that's just a Jeep thing. Look at the bloody it. orange peel on it. Like Maybe it was a different colour, like there's specks of stuff in the paint there. And I would have said, oh, that's being repaired then. Because there's bits on the other side. But all the way around, like... Things been repaired this side. Well, I would have said that. I thought the same, but look at this side. Come over here. Oh. And look at... That has to have been painted. Well, you think that, but is it just crappy? Jeep. Or is it because it's so brown, it's... Uh, People have thrown so much stuff at it. He's trying to lose his own skin. No, because... 
I mean, the bonnet is awful. Yeah. If it's been resprayed at some point, the whole car's been resprayed. Well, I think it could just be really bad paint. It's had two uh, body shop jobs, at least, because um, I found the, uh, you know, the 250 policy excess receipts. I challenge you to find me a panel that hasn't been painted, Jason. <laughs> I don't know who put the weights on this but wheel. Whoever it was must have been pissed. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they off at an angle? <laughs> They're hot on the thing as well. Normally they got them on the seats. Yeah. Sometimes they on the back of the uh, seats and stuff. So the iconic thing yeah. that carries the brand is the Willys Jeep Wranglers. No, uh, yeah, we know this is some piece of crap basically made in China, <laughs> but remember that cool thing we made back in the day up us win the war? Cheap diesel. Yeah. Alright, Picasso, come on, just <laughs> chuck some on and I'll wipe it off. And... I wouldn't have noticed anything. I was like, I'm gonna have to pull over and just double check, kind of slow moving around. And the only knocks it makes is like a clonk as you go into reverse. And you go back and forward, it's like a clonk type of thing. So that sounds like drive train. Could well be, but the main thing that like, whatever is gone. So I think we just sort of have to give it a clean up and just- Get it off that. Yeah. I agree with that. It's also come out of stocking plan now. So it's also just my money. Money, yeah. That's sat in it. Yeah. It's not doing out. I think it, and the drive shaft's out there, so we'll pencil it in. Yeah. Is not Steph where he makes the drive shaft? I think he said he's done it, didn't he? Oh, was he? I think he's done it. Oh. I'll double check with him. I don't remember seeing it, do it, but not No, I don't remember asking when it was going to happen, but, um... Well, Stefan? Yeah? Did you, have you changed the drive shaft on the S1 already or not? No. Cool. I remember if you had a lot. Jake Paul, I'm calling him out, mate. Chase that money. 8244. Yeah. Not. Anything from Choose My Car? Um, go back. I've, just, I've gone back as far as the 24th of last month. No, no it wouldn't, wouldn't have been. Uh, we had one pound from Trat. Ah, uh, that's, yeah, he said he'd do that. I'll let him know about it. I actually reckon I could have a nap in it. This chair is quite comfortable. That's all I snore apparently. You're gonna die in the dog. <laughs> yeah. Might take a couple of cars down to the car wash again today, I reckon. I've still got quite a few to get through. I've got to go through all the bloody shavies. Of all the people who are interested in balloting, yes. 25, 26. They say petrol is better than the Yeah, 100%. Absolutely. So, yeah, get someone in to help Mark. Poor Mark. Slogging away. The Discovery Sport. Yeah, 12, eight, eight, 6. 20. We've had that. Oh, 12, 6. From Octane, yeah. Yeah, we've had that. And the T Rock 1204962, we've had that. 124960, yes. Lovely, right, okay. Got a little list of things that we don't have pictures of. Might, just to speed things up, might take a couple of the car wash again. Yeah, which ones? So we've got CRVs, but no pictures. SLK only got some pictures, yeah. but they're not online. Yeah. Corsa, the Golf, the CLA. Yeah. The Audi S1 doesn't really need much, just needs a wiper, we need the space to do it. Might send my Touareg down there because I can't be asked to hoover it out. Right. And then if I were out of here, me and Tobes could maybe do some running around. Mm -hmm. We are not able to do tyres. Mm -hmm. good. I hope you might be able to help me. Um, we have got a Automotec tyre balancer here um, and tyre fitting machine. And our tyre fitting machine has just decided to, well, give up on us. Um, the, like, the rotating deck on it has just stopped rotating. Um, so I've, just, I've, I've done the obvious and checked fuses, all that kind of stuff. 
um, and it's a, it's, a, it's a no go. It just it's just completely stop rotating. Um, so yeah, we need it. We need it looked at. Time to Oh, the turntable. I kept the tire. Took the foot off the pedal to stop the turntable. and carried on going. And I thought, oh, what's better? So I flipped the pedal with the foot a couple of times, and now it's just dead. Just until the airline. The turntable won't go either way. Um, got a little more fire to get on the end. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just carry them going round and round and round with this attached. Yeah. Take the wheel down with the tyre and they'll swap it over for us. They'll do it now. I've spoken to um, Gary's equipment. They're going to give us a call back today to come and talk. Automotech or? No, no, no. Oh. Uh, Gary's equipment who did the. Um, uh, yeah. Echo machine, yeah. <laughs> do you know one of my favourite tricks when I used to work at an extra wholesale and I was like the box boy? Is you would get these types of packaging, in fact, they used to do smaller ones. You'd lay it under someone's wheel so when they rolled over it would go pop 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 and they hit me at it. Or oh, we wrap it around Toby's neck. <laughs> <laughs> and then he won't chase us around the building with a camera. <laughs> it's a bit extreme. <laughs> no, we've got all three cars we can take now. Yeah. That one doesn't need trade plates. Bet Toby wants to drive that one. Do you want a V8 or a V6 mark? Oh, oh, oh I love the V8. Right, so we're just heading down the farm to uh, get rid of a few cars because we are tripping up over ourselves, which, um, yeah, we need to clear a few out really. There's a few in the scrapyard that kind of are scrappers really, and maybe ones we would have tried to fix in the past. Uh, I know a lot of people have commented on some of the other videos where I've got cars and I said, like, I'm just gonna scrap it. And they're saying, well, you could fix that with this and you could do that. And the problem is if we're selling you know, cars from 10,000 to 30,000 pounds with healthy margins in, then that's where our time needs to be spent. Yes, we could take on another mechanic to fix up cars that are worth like two grand, but I would rather lose a thousand pounds on some crappy, you know, part exchange car, let someone else fix it up and make a profit out of it, get rid of it, even if it means taking a loss on the odd occasion, um, which it seems like we get, we accumulate them down the farm. So it seems like there's loads of them, but in the reality of how many we're selling, it's not that many. Um, it's just not worth our time and hassle. We could spend, let's say, 20 hours fixing up some crappy mini that we might then have a 500 pound profit in. Or we take a 500 pound loss on it, but we spend the same amount of time prepping four cars that would make us 10,000 pounds. So I know where a lot of people are saying, you could fix that with this and you could do that and the parts are cheap and you've got the mechanics why aren't you doing it that's why because we can make more money fixing up the nice cars than wasting it on the cheaper cars that said it's not really the case with these cars we're taking down there now we're taking down our white navara this v6 tt had it uh well with a guy he took it away did the nc 500 in it brought it back and was complaining about an engine light kept coming on supposedly not that there was any but the guy was just such a pain in the ass that we were just like living with him so he did at least four or five thousand miles we knocked off a few hundred quid for the mileage that he had on it but since then no one's wanted it and in total minus the gap where he had it for a few months and put absolutely loads of miles on it doing the nc500 admittedly he said we've had it nearly a year so it's just something's got to change you've got to get rid of it I actually quite like to keep it as a track car because I think this is an awesome car for the money. I'm sure it's the mileage that's putting people off because it's 141,000 now. It was more like 136 when we sold it before, which is still high, it's not a huge difference, but the difference between 130 and 140 in people's minds is probably quite a lot. Um, but this is like a proper little sports car. I love this. This would be amazing to do some kind of European road trip in because it sounds incredible, it's comfortable. It goes well. This is that raspy V6 with a DSG gearbox cruise control. Um, but no one really wants it, so. And the other one is what Mark is driving is the 5 litre V8 SL500. I need to take to a Mercedes specialist really to get the power roof working. I, obviously, we tried to raffle it and it didn't quite sell enough tickets. I thought it would be more popular than it ended up being. 
Um, and in the meantime, the roof has stopped working. So we did a cash alternative anyway. And it sat there and I thought, maybe I'll raffle it again. Maybe I'll try to, try to just trade it on as it was with the roof not working, but couldn't get any bites, even at a thousand pounds under what it owed me. Just, uh, you know, this is the hangover from some of the lessons I'm learning. Don't buy this sort of rubbish. Um, he's obviously going the motorway route. So yeah, I need to find a Mercedes specialist. There's a guy I speak to actually, is it SPR? Uh, the one that Matt from High Peak Autos uses. He's obviously very, very good, but he is up country, so not necessarily ideal, but maybe we could get it shipped up there. Um, if not, I'll find someone local just so we can get that roof working and then we can do something with it. But in the meantime, while I'm finding time to do that, it's just clogging up the garage. And while I've got the farm for storing cars, I may as well use it. So luckily my dad had just popped in as well and he said, oh, do you want a driver? So he is gonna meet us out there and give us a lift back in his Range Rover Sport, which he loves, but now he thinks maybe actually what he really wants is a full fat Range Rover Faux or something, because it's it's smoother than his L322 and all that sort of stuff, but it's, it's not quite as the suspension's a bit stiffer. So it's almost as if it's got like Sport in the name. But he's, he's like, yeah, I think he's like a Rolls Royce, but you know, he, he likes things that don't exist, do you know what I mean? But we'll try and get a, uh, a full fat Range Rover in of a similar era that he can try out. I need a bang on that. That Avio, yeah, the Macaulay will be back with in the next 20 minutes. Is he doing it for the Fiesta yet? No. Are you going to? Well, has the battery been done? I don't know. Doubt it. He's gonna have to do it on his way over, isn't he? Because he's got other stuff to do. I thought he'd do it this morning. Yeah. Right. Right. He's gonna do swapping around with Dan's golf because Dan said we deliver it back to him or whatever. And picking up the Abio. Oh yes. So he's gonna be back with the Abio. So yes. he can then probably do the battery and take it down himself, but there's only so much you can do. Anyway, I was going to say that Abio because it's such a bad shoe. Maybe yeah. just keep it as a courtesy car. Yeah, Only costs us like twelve hundred quid. Yeah, it's this idea then because it does blow a little bit of smoke out and start it, but then it disappears. So I couldn't hear a rattle on that. Quite right. Yeah. Well, not a not rattle. It's just a ch -ch 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 chopping noise. Well, that under load. Yeah. Because if you look into the engine bay, at the back, driver's side, see all the oil up against the bulkhead. I didn't know, I didn't That's look in there. where the intercooler's going in. I'm pretty sure, because I had the foot on the brake when I went up the road, mm. and I put it flat to the floor, and then that's when I, it sounds like it's got a weep or a, a small blow on the intercooler line going into the manifold. Um, it's right in the back, I mean, if it was bad, it wouldn't really pass the emissions. No, no, I don't think it's bad, it's just... Sorry, yeah, uh, but there was nothing really stood out that was. Um, oh, uh, I couldn't find any or hear anything personally that would say it's doomed. Yeah, it winds a bit though. Mm. Like you give us something that's like. Yeah, if it drops there. I'm going to get the Abbey off. Two. Well, it's not a car and a van, to be honest. The um, Disco Sport, is that it? Yeah. That's on eBay only? Yeah, because it's probably limited on spaces on auto trade, I think. But yeah, it's not. Um, oh, it's actually, I'll probably just be a bit. Not here anyway, but I suspect if I refresh this, it should be. So is it 10, 10 7 is right, quite sure? I don't know, maybe it's not there. It's maybe. bad, isn't it? So did you put it on Fire Auto Trader? If I, yeah, if I put yeah. it on anywhere, that's the only way it would have yeah. done it. That's the right place and stuff, so that's the main thing I'll text you and say, is it? Yeah, I mean, we need sports. to get like all the auction stickers and everything off the food. Um, do you agree with what's back? Well, not agreeing to have it back, but they're delivering it back here for us to look at. Hey, all right. Yes. 
That's for us. Yeah. Yeah. We got way too many cars. This is the uh, Renault Clio. That, uh, yeah, we'll do a whole separate video on it. But yeah, another finance company saying, no, you got to have it back. Okay. I mean No V5, just two keys, no service book. I presume that's our invoice for their fee for, their, for that Audi deal. Okay. So I'll put that in the invoices to pay, which has obviously been paid, in fact. Yeah. They paid a 7995 on that, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah. are going to love that. <laughs> well, you can put it, do you want a copy yeah. to go with that lot? Uh, well, they'd never see this, so um, just take out the top, and I'll have to remember. Have you finished photographing the one series? No, I've uh, done one, and I'll finish it. No. Okay. Now, what was the uh, outcome of the five series? Is it going tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Right, so it is nearly two o'clock. Nearly finished on a Saturday. It's lovely, glorious weather. It's a shame we're not here for a bit longer really because we've got loads of cars to get through but hey ho I'll probably back in on the bank holiday Monday anyway so we'll get cracking again then I need to get a new Valita we need to do best car bought and best car sold um someone also suggested like biggest headache and biggest victory biggest victory biggest loss something like that biggest headache I think biggest headache and best result would be a good one so biggest headache the fact that this thing is back after I worked it out it's actually seven months to the day since uh, she took this with freshly powder coated wheels I might add look at the state of them um, it's done only about two and a half thousand miles but yeah we'll do a separate video on that but just the fact that we got to deal with this it's not the end of the world it's an eight grand car we'll have to just figure out something with them in the end and then I, I got a feeling it's, it actually drives fine I just I just I don't know but either way yeah, we'll have to deal with it. It's just, that's how it works as a car dealer. Everyone calls us crooked and then they just dump cars back on us and say, oh yeah, I know it's seven months down the line, but I've been riding the brake in here while I've been driving in this automatic because I'm a new driver. Who gets this as a first car anyway? And you're going to foot the bill now. Yeah, we're the, we're the bad guys. Anyway, um, then best result. What's the best result this week? Um, I reckon best result was nicking that wheelchair access vehicle, a little Ford Tornado on 15,000 miles for a really good price. I think, I think that would be, you know, a quick seller. So I'm fairly happy with that. I think that was a result. And that doesn't make it the best car bought. We'll have to go out on the forecourt to find the best car bought. So let's go out there and have a look. We have actually bought quite a lot this week. Uh, trying to figure out what was this week we got a brown jeep cherokee type thing that came in part exchange in fact we did a straight swap for our volvo s90 this discovery sport has just come in this i've not really yet to look at it that much but it's quite a nice audi q3 i really like that red that's nice what else is new there's a one series up the front there that's new that came in part exchange yesterday all sorts um i really like the q3 but I feel like James of Chops Garage would be upset with me if I didn't say that the Disco 4 on just 34,000 miles was Car of the Week. In fact, I got a text message, I put it up here, and he said, when he sold this to me, he said it better be Car of the Week. And that's what he lives for now, is to find out whether he's sold Barrow Motors the Car of the Week. So um, I thought I'd give him a little morale boost and say this is the best. I mean, in reality, it is an awesome car. This would... Uh, be right up my street but a bit pricey for me at 28 g's but that's because it's a despite what the plate says i'm about to take that off actually and uh, so if anyone wants a number plate that says nc11 ram maybe you want to space it maybe you've got a company that's like ram hydraulics or something and you could have it almost like cool ram maybe maybe you're into sheep and goats and things and you've got rams anyway that plate will be up for sale so let me know we're gonna put it back on its 65 plate because this is a 2015 16 
on 34,000 miles. And she's a beauty. I particularly like these retina destroyers up here that go with the, the main beams so you can just blind people willy-nilly. Um, other than that, we've got loads of nice stuff here. We've got my Porsche 911 back. That's back from SCS Porsche, who changed two, I think, throttle body flaps or something. That was causing the misfire. Um, they say there's a bit of a leak on the gearbox. We're going to sort that out. But otherwise, she's running and driving sweet as a nut now. So just a little bit of maintenance we need to do on that. Uh, we've got the little Audi S1 back on sale. It had a weird clunky noise, which took us quite a while to figure out. We bought those digital ears. Some of you who watch the channel regularly would have spotted. We had those things that you like clip on. It's little microphone type things. Anyway, I think it's just a drive shaft, so it was not as dramatic as we thought. There's another new one that's coming. Say it, Leon. It's, um, yeah, it's getting a bit manic here. I'm loving it. I'm loving it being really busy, but it does need a bit more organizing now because, yeah, just cars everywhere. And I'm getting annoyed because every time I try and move a car from one side of the building to the other, so there's a customer there or whatever. So, uh, yeah, but I'm not complaining, but I'm just complaining. Do you know what I mean? That sort of thing. Um, don't forget, you can just about see our flag over there for feel good competitions. You've got the course of VXR that you can win. By this point in time, you will have just missed out on some tickets, some VIP box tickets to Brands Hatch to watch British Touring Car Championships and the Porsche Carrera Cup of Great Britain. Because um, that's happening right now as you're watching that. Someone's there enjoying this. They've won those tickets. You missed out, but make sure you follow the feel good competitions social media things and you'll see all the updates on top of that we've still got a thousand pounds cash to be won we've got a custom casio casio watch to be won we've got a ford sierra sapphire bit of an old classic on there as well and god knows what else by this point it's a week down the line i might have gone crazy and stuck an rs4 on there or something i don't know but make sure you check out feelgoodcompetitions.com because it's all in aid of a really good charity cause as well thank you so much for watching that is it for this week don't forget to like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Win the watch. Toby will put that on the screen. Uh, yeah, that's it. We'll see you this time next week. Bye-bye.